the basic idea here is there's a lot of people loving like me my, my dog is right behind me loving their pets and just love to make pictures of them my girlfriend or made an Instagram account for this dog. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it, but it's like this. And therefore, yeah, image generation with your pets so is the main goal. And how this works, basically, they just create new images, choosing dog or cat so far. And so you have all these different dog types, breeds, or cat breeds they can choose, and then you can create a search for an action, you can also a location where the shooting has to be set and the photo style and so on. This is one, one approach and the other approach is to create avatars of your, of your beloved pet, like a dog, cat, hamster, rabbit, whatever snakes will come, <laughs> I don't know. It's, all, it's uh, the opportunities or the possibilities are endless. And you just upload, uh, give it a name and you just upload pictures. As you already saw in the template, it's the same way probably like you're doing it. So I upload pictures to the Firebase storage and then I get a list of images and then I zip the files and so I go into that now. Okay. So how does it work? And now it comes to Rowy. It's really my favorite tool every day. So Flutterflow and Rowy, it's the key because I can really do now everything in Rowy. So I don't have any or not so much API calls from the app anymore. So I'm not depending on if there's some lack of uh, communication or so, so I can really do everything in the backend, which is very important because we're selling to people and they, when they buy it, they want to have it really in time, in place, and you cannot say, hey, sorry, there was no connection or something. So it's really awesome to do it all in the backend and therefore Roy is the place to be. So we have different tables, of course. Here's a kind of table, for example, for the cat type. So the cat type is already, like you can imagine, yeah. It's also prepared by the AI, this cat type and this dog type table. You have this typical stack where you say, okay, this is a template, a prompt, here's a pre-title. So I got this titles all from ChatGPT. I asked for the top 20, 100 or whatever cat things. I got it in a table, I put it here. So it's really straightforward. And then I created all these templates for doing the Photoshop so that it's centered and uh, looks nice and so on and this generates the image for the inside of the app so where the people can choose the pet type or the cat type so how does this own pet thing works probably the same like you guys did it you did a little, little bit more advanced with uh, centering the images so this i don't do for some reasons because for the pet generation i need also the background and not always the face or something it's also moving pictures. And so people, as showed, upload the images. So this is landing here, this array of images. And here's the zip file generation. So it's checking if, there's, if there are images. It starts this zip file generation, it grabs all these things and do this zip file. And if there's a zip file, I get also the zip file path, which I hand over to the creation. And so this starts here. If there is a zip file path, then the upload zip file will start. So this is basically the magic. This is the way so that you get these images, get the zip file, upload it to Dreambooth. There's a specific version number of the Dreambooth Dream model from Replicate. So and you get back an ID for the training model. And if the training is ready, so after yeah, 10 minutes, then I start creating the images and I start creating the images by using a template also for styles. Yeah, so this is my own pet styles. This is already set like same as the normal images for the pet types and so on, but it's more prompt style working. But the good thing is here with Rory, you can do it inside of the template directly. So I just changed here something and it's updating the images by instance. So we're just doing all the work for you. So it's really amazing what you can do. And here you can see all the different styles. So in the Renaissance style, very good selling. In the UK, when you have the actions like in, in the swimming pool on top of a mountain. This is all my dog, by the way, so it's <laughs> Mr. Mango. So here, and so you can do amazing things like becoming a pet, becoming a cyber dog or a steampunk dog or whatever you can do. Monet style. So that's really fun. And uh, yeah, so that's basically 
But it's working, so when the model is ready trained, I get, I get a book back to the table and then it's starting the generation of the images using those styles. And then user gets a sign in his app that the model is ready and then he can go to his gallery where he find all the images. So that's basically how it works. Got it. Great. For the own pet styles, some something where the user uploads a bunch of images. Before Roy, where you thinking of doing it in some other style with Flutterflow or did Roy make these easy for you? I'd love to hear a bit more about yeah. the features that really helped yeah, you. Yeah, so, so of course I started first with Banana. Banana also has model. Banana Dev is also replicate supplier for, let's say, a hoster for AI models. And then I found out, oh, it's really hard, too complicated. Then I stumbled upon this replicate blog post where we offered this. And then I tried to build it from scratch inside of Flutterflow with API calls and so on. Then I already stumbled upon how to generate zip file, how to yeah, how to upload the zip file in a good way and so on. So I really came to my personal handle as a programmer and thanks God there's already GPT-3 and ChatGPT. So um, they're not doing the job right now for you, but they give you some kind of inspiration how you can do something. So I really recommend this for everybody to use it. If you don't know how to start something, then it's probably the right choice just to check it there and then develop it, finish it. So I never have get back a source code or something from ChatGPT which worked directly from the direction uh, from the beginning, but yeah, so that's still have to do it by yourself so anyways didn't came further so I, and then i just posted some question about what to add zip file on rory and and happy one of your team members replied and he gave me some hits tips and i and i i really was aware of that and after i i solved the zip file thing so the rest was pretty easy because all the api calls and stuff is pretty basic and there are a lot of good templates from your side already a lot of good uh, demo and a lot of good documentation how to do all the stuff so it was pretty easy so it took me in the end i would say four to five hours to finish all this and the most time to be honest goes then into the finishing of the time and really checking if everything working and you have this amazing tool where you can really create everything because you can train products you can train people you can train pets you can train whatever you want so it's cool for design, it's cool for whatever you want. Really, there are big opportunities and even if you put it out there as a template, so it's really amazing for other people. Yeah, that's great to hear because that's exactly the use case we are building it for where we want to enable people to build their ideas quickly and not worry about how do you then deploy it. Like you can use chat GPT-3 or there's so many advanced resources now that you can generate the code for you. but. I know you still need to figure out how do you deploy it and connect it and so on. So I think the combination of tools you have used is pretty perfect for getting the app's ideas out. And uh, I'd like to also hear a bit about you have multiple projects going on. I'm sure like there's so many different types of data you're managing, to different functions you're writing and so on. So how do you find that with using Roe? Are you able to manage different projects? If you can talk a bit about it. Uh, like, yeah, so as you can see here, some of my projects. So I started with... ML24, ML24 stands for Mimic Resonance 24, so it's a learn management system for training emotional, let's say, emotional com competence or what's called emotional intelligence. And so I am working for German coach networks or big coach academies since a while now, so I'm building all the, the platforms. And I started with this to, to dive into ROI and I found it amazing because it makes user management and handling so much easier. And this was the first thing I found out. So, oh, now I have a toggle. I can just put the user active or not, or even the team of the company can do it. So it's pretty awesome. And from there, I started to create all these different projects. And yeah, just invite the team members and you can start. So it's really easy to create all the stuff. So the onboarding takes me just, let's say, one to allow us to, to dive into how all these possibilities are, uh, what are the fields of Rory, what you can do with derivatives, what you can do with actions and so on. And I'm even not uh, expert. It was really pretty fast to get into that and also to start working on it. And you just have, if you have Firebase, then you have all what you need, then you're ready to go. Rory makes it so easy to, to import all the tables, to rename the fields if you need 
to add more fields and so on. So it's really, you now for me, it's a daily tool and I would die without it, to be honest, because I couldn't do other things. So it's really in the right spot and I'm really happy to to stumble upon that. And I loved the design from the beginning, so I really think it's well, well done. It's still in the making, but you can already feel the sense of design also behind. And I like, like it, so it's really a good, very good user experience. What you did so far, it's amazing you can use it and it helps you a lot. I think that's the best compliment a product can have. And I'm still for, I'm looking forward to it, how you develop. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. -bye. Bye.